Okay, now that we have installed Classic on Intel, let's show you how to use it. First, a quick review of where it's installed. For those who missed my first video, Classic on Intel is installed very simply here in the Applications menu. There's the folder for it. There's the app. But also, a key component is a disk image that is in the Shared folder. So you go to the root drive, your hard drive, under Users, there is a shared folder. Now, let's look at how it runs. I already have a shortcut over here, which I'm going to click once to launch it. And you can see it launching right there. Those charming late 90s graphics. And, uh, you know, as is often the case in OS X, your computer does things without your... <laughs> it's always doing stuff on its own, which we never authorized. There it goes. I've dismissed that. Never had those problems in OS 9. So here we're seeing Operating System 9, Classic OS 9 launching under OS X El Capitan on this MacBook Air. And we're going to explain now how I use this virtual machine, OS 9, uh, to, do my, to do some work. I have older software. I have lots and lots of files that I can operate on with the older software, but not with anything newer and not on any newer machine. But I can still send those. I still want to be able to send those files to my clients and basically have a connection to the rest of the world. In Classic on Intel, once the virtual machine launches, you will see a volume called Unix right here, this volume. You double click that and you get this window. This volume is the portal into the more modern machine, the Mac OS X El Capitan, where it is in fact the equivalent, the shared folder. There's the shared folder. And you see most of the ingredients, uh, most of what's in here, with all of it's in here is the same, except for this desktop folder. That desktop folder is not visible in the OS 9 virtual machine, but everything else is the same. This uh, 1200 meg disk image right here, this is actually coming up in the virtual machine as this 1.2 gig volume. On the 1.2 gig volume is where I will do my work. That is where I keep my files and also any additional applications I might install. Uh, in fact, I can show them to you. I have installed numerous, uh, I've, sorry, wrong virtual machine. In another one that I have, I have lots of apps that are OS 9 native. Anyway, I have a folder on the 1.2 gig machine that I call nine data and I keep that mirrored with a folder on the OSX side which is accessible to me through this Unix volume. I call that X data. So I'm going to open that up here. And the nice thing is you can make aliases for all these things. So for the nine data I have an, an alias up here and for the X data I have an alias up here and I can just work on my, I can launch my apps, whatever app I might want to work on. For example, Claris works. We'll start right up. And there we have it. We can type something. We can save it. Uh, we will have to navigate to the my nine data folder, I go to the desktop, I find the nine data alias. Oh, we have, we have so many untitled ones. We can save it 
over top of the old untitled one. And then we will see here on nine data. There it is, modified today. And once we're done with working on files here, we can put them on a, watch this, this is gonna be interesting. So in the shared folder, we want to have this is the this is the folder where the files will end up if I drag them into X data under OS9. So there's the folder in the Unix volume. So we want these files, we want to take them out now out of the virtual machine and bring them into the modern day. This is kind of like time travel. We will bring them out of the past into the present. Just drag them over here. They will copy over, and you see they instantly appear over here in OS X under the shared folder, under the xData folder, which is sort of like our time portal into the virtual machine, into the past. And I move files back and forth like this all the time. The important thing is do not use your OS 9 software to operate on the files on the Unix volume, which is the shared folder in OS X. If you do that, you'll have problems, you'll have crashes, and it has something to do with how memory is allocated. It's all beyond me. All I can say is don't do it. Anything you work on, any software you run, run it on either the 1.2 gig volume in OS 9 or on the Classic HD. But the Classic HD is a very small volume and it's practically full which is why it's important to have this other volume for data and additional software. And that's pretty much it. You move files back and forth from here. You know, I can drag them into my mail. I can email them to people and so on. Something I couldn't do in OS 9 in this day and age, even if I have the old computer to do it with. And I do. Uh, I have an old Mac Quadra running this software. All right, that's all there is to it. Thanks, and good luck with the new stuff you've learned.